Hi, my name is Andrew Fisher. I'm a class 2022. I'm an infielder committed to Duke. It's a day in my life. Uh, I got into baseball around three to four years old. Uh, I got handed a little wiffle ball bat and started waving it around. Um, I guess what influenced me was my family. Uh, they just, I don't, I don't even want to say they kind of pushed it on me, but it was, uh, you know, let's go outside and play. Let's go play. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then that kind of turned into, hey, dad, can we go play? Or, hey, grandpa, can we go play? Uh, instead of them asking me. So. That's kind of how it started, and then once T-ball started, it was, Dad, can we go play T-ball? Let's go play T-ball. You know, um, travel ball started, you know, hey, there's one team, you know, can we play on two, three, four, five? You know, it got to a point I played like 100 games in a summer when I was like 13, um, which is a lot uh, for a 13-year-old. Um, but it was cool, I love it, I love baseball. Um, it's it's work though. It's you gotta want it. You gotta love the sport. Uh, you gotta roll with the ups and downs. Uh, you know now I'm so I'm just with one team now. I'm with Niners, and even that uh, you know Niners is like a job. It's uh, you gotta love it, and if you don't love it, it's not for you. It's you. Got, it's day in and day out, every day. You know, wake up with a purpose. Go to sleep with a purpose. You know, I go to sleep making sure every night I get eight to ten hours minimum of sleep because my body needs rest, I need time to heal, um, you know, just some time away. Uh, and, you know, when I wake up in the morning, whether it's at 6 a.m. or 10 a.m., uh, you know, it's with a purpose. You know, whether it's to sleep in to get that extra rest, you know, make, wake up to make sure I get a meal before a workout. You know, if I have an 8 a.m. workout, I'm up at 6, making sure I get that meal in, making sure my food's digested. You know, that's just kind of how it is. It's a job, you gotta prepare. Um, so I, I picked Duke over any other college um, just because education is just so important to me and obviously I want to play at a high level. You know, you have the two there, ACC baseball and academics, um, both at the very top. They're growing, they're a growing program. Uh, but from a young age, academics were, uh, you know, pushed into my life as an importance and that, you know, that's what's going to bring you far in life. And, you know, baseball kind of took a back seat on that. And my, so my mom works, she works at Princeton. Um, so obviously you could see there, she, she, she values the uh, educational aspect of it. So that definitely took a, a part in it. But the recruiting process, it went really smooth. Um, you know, I talked to a few colleges and uh, once I talked to Duke, it was kind of like, no, this is the right fit. Um, this is home, this is where I want to be. These are the coaches I want to rock with. These are the kids I want to go with. This is, this is where I want to be. So I walked on campus, it felt like home and that was it. I made my verbal commitment. Um, I don't feel like I, I don't feel pressure anymore at high school games 
uh, you know, now that I'm committed to a Division One college, I never really felt that pressure uh, at high school games. Freshman year, when I was uncommitted, I played actually on the freshman team. Uh, our high school team won the state championship. That was really cool to watch. Um, you know, they're all great kids. It was really, really cool to see them bond and just the way they played, it kind of gave me something to look forward to for the rest of um, my high school career. Um, so I never really had that kind of pressure. Um, you know, it was freshman ball, playing with a bunch of freshmen. Uh, obviously that level can be a little bit lower than, you know, what I wanted to play at at the time, but you know, you're still getting your repetitions, you're still getting better. Um, but, you know, if you're talking about travel ball, that pressure, I don't ever really felt, again, that that kind of pressure was there. It was just kind of, you know, I was relaxed, just playing my game, doing my thing, and uh, the cards fell where, how they fell. Um, I think my greatest strength that I bring to the game, uh, I think it's just my leadership role. Um, I feel that, you know, obviously I feel that I could play baseball, but I feel like there's a sense of, uh, you know, leadership there that, you know, when I get into an atmosphere, you know, with my, whether it's with my friends, with a new team, you know, I try to do something to stand out and the rest of my team's kind of teammates notice it. Um, I try not to, it's not it's something I do in like an arrogant way, but it's, you know, hustle on and off the field. You know, play catch with a purpose, you know, make sure I'm there stretching every day and, you know, everyone just kind of follows and I take that leadership role. Um, you know, I get I get the team going when I see the teams down, uh, you know, when the team is going, we keep them going. You know, if someone strikes out, the next guy is going to get the next next at bat, um, you know, and I remind my teammates that, you know, night before a game, I text everyone. Hey, boys, this is this is what's going on. We gotta get after it tomorrow. You know, everyone get to bed early, good night's sleep. We're playing for something bigger than, you know, just the name on the back of our jersey. We're playing for the name on the front. So I take that leadership role and I roll with it. Um, I think the a weakness that I can work on, um, you know, is I think my mobility. Um, it's it's something that I, I I feel I have good mobility and I'm I can I'm very flexible and uh, stuff like that. But I feel like it's something that uh, you know, it's good right now where it is, but I, there's, it can always be better. Um, so I do every day. I'm out there stretching, uh, you know, stretch an hour a day. It can't hurt you. So it can only help you.
favorite, three of my favorite players to watch in the MLB. Uh, you know, I like Didi Gregorius. You know, he was in pinstripes. He was on the Yankees. Uh, you know, I guess that's someone who I kind of modeled my game after growing up. Uh, you know, lefty hitting shortstop. Um, I really like his swing. You know, great person. Uh, good dude. I think uh, he's definitely my go-to guy. Um, but number two, I, I really liked watching Shohei Otani this year. He's literally the definition of a five-tool player. Um, he can do it all. Um, just fun to watch, you know. When he come, comes up to bat, you turn the TV on, it's, oh, he's on deck. I want to watch one more batter or, you know, whatever the case may be. But uh, my third person is Todd Frazier. Uh, Todd Frazier is the man, you know, hometown hero, went to the Lily World Series. Uh, you know, his brothers coached me all growing up. I played on uh, Frazier's Downtown Academy throughout my youth. Um, you know, he was everywhere. You know, the new the Tom Zuri's Little League World Series, uh, they just went to the Little League World Series this past year. You know, and Todd Frazier's there rooting on his home, hometown again. Um, you know, I feel like he's someone, you know, you always hear his name and he's always doing the right thing. And that's someone, you know, maybe not even be my game that I model after, but it's, you know, my character and my role um, with my teammates and, you know, just how I kind of want to be as a person. Uh, you know, I look up to Todd, he's the man. The advice I have for kids right now uh, that are in high school looking to get looks from colleges is just kind of be yourself like don't do too much don't get tight out there uh, you know if you have what it takes they're gonna notice it so you know don't don't go out of your way doing something crazy that you wouldn't do um, just play your game you know steal bases if that's your game go out there and be aggressive on the base paths you know, if your game is, you know, sit back and drive the ball into the gap, then drive the ball into the gap. And, you know, if you have one bad day where you don't and someone's watching you, don't don't get upset because, you know, maybe you haven't heard from them or whatever it is. You know, you got to think long term, big goals, you know, whether it's Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, JUCO, whatever the case is, you know, you're going to find the right place for you. You're going to find the right fit for you. And, uh, you know, one last thing that I would say is, you know, don't just jump on the first offer or the first look or first... You know conversation you have with someone just because you know oh I want to play baseball in college and he's the first person that asked me it's uh, you know really read into it uh, know what you're getting yourself into you know it's a full commitment um, it's gonna take up your life uh, you know your life's gonna be different than the next kid who's not an athlete and you gotta if that's what you want then you have to accept that and uh, you got to know that that's what you're getting into and you know make sure that you feel like the college you're going to is home you know make sure you feel like those people that are talking to you care about you and uh, when you find the right place you'll know it So we started off the day today in the backyard, in the cage. Um, we took some reps off the tee. You know, then we went right into front toss. Um, you know, I uh, I really like to do that all the time as my uh, beginning to my workouts. You know, make sure I'm loose beforehand. You know, get in a good stretch, good warm up. You know, make sure I break a sweat, make sure I'm loose. And then, uh, you know, start off the tee. It gives me a good transition into my day, um, you know, into my first workouts. And uh, I go from there. So start off the tee, we went front toss. You know, I had progressions, you know, first round opposite field, you know, second round working to drive the ball, third round trying to go gap to gap. You know, pro all productive swings, um, not trying to rush it. Uh, make sure you're, you're doing everything with purpose. Um, then from there, we drove over to the field, um, took some on-field swings and the same thing. 
uh, we did there. You know, some first round, working a lot of line drives, um, trying to backspin baseballs. Um, you know, that's where a lot of your pr uh, productive swings are in games, you know, is when you hit a back, uh, you know, backspin a baseball into the gap. Um, you know, you get some top spin, you're probably going to, most likely going to get a single out of it rather than a double. Um, but uh, if you practice that way, you know, really work the backspin baseballs into the gaps, you're going to get more positive results. So that was the goal of the first round. Um, next round went in there, trying to uh, backspin deep into the gap rather than just for line drives. Uh, try and get a little bit of lift on the ball. And then uh, that was both with the wood bat. And then uh, from there, we went back to the metal bat um, and went, went in there, just try and hit something hard the other way. Then we worked middle of the field and then we worked pull side. Um, and then the very, very last few swings, just tried to elevate a few, just to see what we can do for fun. Uh, you know, cause we're making a video. We're not making videos too often here. Uh, but uh, from then, from there we went, uh, went to where I train uh, in Tin Falls at uh, SS Sports Training Facility. Um, right there, Val Barnaby trains me. Um, he's a great dude, great guy. Um, but he, he took us through a workout and uh, it was awesome, really, really good workout. Got a, some leg workouts in, some speed, some stretching, some mobility, um, some explosive work, you know, whole nine yards. So he's he's really good. Uh, I trust him with my life. You know, I could go to Val for anything, whether it's, you know, school, baseball, you know, working out, you know, advice. Um, he's really, really good with that. So I, he's someone who I trust in my life. You know, if there's 10 people that I know I can go to, he's he's top on my list. So Val, thank you so much for everything you do. Um, 